Virtual craft night. I see it now. Oh my gosh. Hello, I'm Dennis. I'm Andrew. And, and we, we are, are the Crafty Lumberjacks. Welcome back to Handmade at Home. We've been spending most of our time right here on this couch. Yeah, hello from our couch. <laughs> Something we love to do in New York is host craft nights. But since that's not possible, we thought, why not host a, a virtual, virtual craft, craft night? night. <laughs> and we're gonna show you some tips on how to host your own successful virtual craft night. Let's get started. Step one, brainstorm a theme for your craft night. You wanna make sure that it's accessible for everyone. Uh, when we were brainstorming ideas, we of course thought of all the <laughs> ideas, every single craft that you can think of. We can do like a drink or draw. Oh yeah, like a paint night. A painted pot. Oh or... yeah, like, oh, what about like a still life? You'd like set up a still life. Oh, we saw that thing once about um, making your own clay. We can do like a DIY oh, clay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like uh, something with like recycled cans, like upcycling cans mm -hmm. or recyclables. Macaroni. <laughs> oh, I love macaroni art. It's all right. I don't know, but I think people need their macaroni. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and then we kind of realized that we want to keep it more accessible for everyone because a lot of people don't have the amount of craft supplies that we have in our home. I was shocked. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we don't want people rushing out to the store. Yeah. We want this night to be fun, simple, and easy. It's about connecting with your friends, connecting with your loved ones, and just having an activity. So we took all of our ideas and narrowed it down into two simple, easy activities. Which brings us to step two. Check in with your friends. Now that you have your ideas narrowed down, see what people have at home. You don't want anybody to feel left out. Step three, create an invitation. You can keep this as informal or formal as you want. Yeah, just make sure you include the day, the time, the materials you'll need for the craft project you chose. Yes, yeah, so you can remind them to bring a snack and a oh, yeah. drink. Yeah, you could even take it a step further and make it like a themed party. Yes, like pajamas, yes. dress your best, toga, toga party. Toga, toga. You know, there are no rules. It's your craft night. Now that you have your invitation sent, it's time for your final step. Step four, prep your crafts. Now, this may vary on the type of craft that you decide to do with your friends. Yes, it might be a good idea to have a practice round with yourself to make the project. This way you can take a picture of it and send it to your friends as a reminder of the materials they're going to need and also how it should look at the end. Yeah, also if you're leading something that's a little more complicated, Make a cheat sheet. Write out all the steps that you're going to teach. This way, everything comes out really nice and clear. Based on what our friends had at their Very place. Very little. <laughs> yes, Very they little. didn't have much. What? We decided on the theme of greeting cards. We thought it'd be fun to send out some happy mail to our friends, our family, and people we haven't seen in a while. Yeah, so for our prep, we thought it'd be fun to design our own cards and send them out to our friends beforehand. This way they can print them out and everyone can be coloring the same things together. Yeah, so we want it to be on the same page. Ah, 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 always, always, always. So to make the cards, we just designed them on a program and then shrunk everything to the fourth quadrant. This way you can fold your card twice, giving you that old school elementary style card. Yes, you know, throwback. Absolutely. It's really not about the outcome with this. Sometimes these things get like a little awkward. So having something to do, I think is always a, a good thing. Yes. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. All, all right. right. Okay, it's the night of the craft party. We're really excited. We're all set. We have our markers, our color pencils, our snacks, our drinks. Yes, we sent out our printables to our friends a little while ago, so they had time to print out the sheets. Yep. And um, we have ours ready to go. I yeah. feel a little nervous. I know. Oh, actually, they're calling. Okay. Bye. Here we go. That was so much was fun. Really fun. We kept it chill. Yeah. It was great to connect with everybody while also keeping it crafty. Yeah, we hope we inspired you to get crafty. Let us know in a comment below if you have any ideas for a virtual craft night of your own. Yes, yeah, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you soon. Stay crafty. Bye. Bye.